Hello, my name is Kyle. I'm with Stitch International. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up your transfer rip software. The first thing you want to do is insert the disk that you received in your forever transfer rip box. If you do not have a CD drive in your computer, you can download the software from our website. First, you're going to go to stitchitintl.com. You'll then go over to the Resource tab and select Knowledge Base, Helpful Links and Tutorials, and it'll be the second one on the list, Forever Transfer Rib Software. You'll click on that. This will take you to a Dropbox account where you can download the file. You'll click Download and select Direct Download. Once it's finished, you'll open it. You may see a window like this. Simply click on More Info, Run Anyway. Now we can install the Forever Transfer Rip software. First, you're going to click Next. On this page, it's going to show you your license agreement. You can scroll through that if you like, otherwise click Accept. Here it's going to install all the Forever Transfer Rip software files. One thing to note, this program is pretty performance driven, so it's best to run this program by itself instead of having other things open at the same time. Okay, now that's finished, it'll pop up with this window here, and you can simply hit close. Do make sure if this is checked so that the transfer rip software will open when you hit close. If it doesn't pop up automatically, click on register and you'll see this window here. This is where you insert your update code to register the software. This is where you copy and paste your update code. If you don't have the disk, you can find it on a piece of paper inside your box. To find it on your disk, you'll open your folder. Scroll down to your disk here, click on the DVD drive, open up your disk, and it'll be in a file called underscore dongle co underscore code TRWTT underscore UN and then an, your own unique number. You'll click and open that, and it'll pull up a PDF of your update plan code. You're going to copy and paste the bottom half, this here from hashtag to hashtag and copy and paste it in this box here. Since I've already registered my software on this computer, it shows up automatically for me. If this is the first time you're installing the software, it will have a demo code in here. Once you've pasted that in there, go ahead and hit close and you should be good to go. One thing to note, you want to make sure that you have the USB dongle that came with the software plugged into your computer. If you don't have it in the machine, up here where it says machine or dongle ID, it will show a GMID number. That means it's not registering your USB drive. Now that we've registered your software, it's time to import your profiles. If you have a CD drive, you can pull it straight from your CD. So what you'll do is go down to import, find your disk drive, Select this file that starts with transfer rip, and this will have all your color profiles. The profiles that you'll need are any of them that have your model number in it. So if you have the C711, you'll want these three profiles. If you have the 8432, you want these three. Now if you don't have the disk, or you have the 9541 and they're not showing up on your disk, you can go to our website and download them. You'll go to Resources, Knowledge Base, helpful links and tutorials, and ICC profiles. This will take you to a Dropbox account where you can download the ones that you need. If you need the 9541, they're located here in the middle. There are some older versions down here as well. You simply select the ones you want to download, hit download, and then direct download. 
Once you've downloaded those, you'll simply do the same as you did before. You'll import, go to downloads, and select your color profile and open. And that will go ahead and open it up inside your RIP software. Once those color profiles are downloaded, you're ready to go.